Hey guys, Roger here, and this video is so different to everything else that I've already done on this channel, so I'm really hoping that you guys will enjoy this video. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and if you enjoy this video, do please give it a thumbs up as well, because that really helps. So this is the Weird Tech Challenge. What is the Weird Tech Challenge? Well, basically, I'm doing this with Concept Creator, otherwise known as Jermaine, and we are going to buy each other a very weird, very cheap handset from somewhere like Gearbest or Banggood, and we're gonna send that handset to each other to use for five days. Now, we must use this handset for five days. However, if there are certain things that this handset can't do, perhaps some social media apps like Twitter and YouTube, then we are allowed to use our normal handset for that. But all the things that these handsets can do, like make phone calls and send normal text messages and things like that, we must do that on the handset that we receive. Now, the really cool thing about this challenge is that we do not know what we're going to receive. We have no idea what kind of handset it will be, what it will look like. So that's the really cool thing about this challenge. It's quite exciting because we have no idea what's coming. So I'm now going to have a look on Gearbest or Banggood and try and find something that I can send to Jermaine. And I must also make sure that this is under 35 pounds or under 40 euros. So it's gotta be kept to a minimum, the amount that we spend. But I'm gonna have a look now on Gearbest or Banggood. Let's see what we can find to send to Jermaine. And once I've done that, by then I should have received mine. And I'm gonna unbox that here on the channel. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's go. Okay, so we need to find a handset for Jermaine. Something cheap needs to be under 35 pounds or $50. So let's have a quick look. We'll start with Banggood because I know that they do have a range of very cheap uh, cell phones. So I'm gonna sort this by price low to high. Here we go. Right, let's see. Wow, what's this? This is small. Uh, let's see what else there. Walkie talkie? Yeah, okay. This looks like a Nokia. I mean, it's a kind of Nokia sort of design. Oh, there's a Nokia. Okay, <laughs> I mean, we could send one of those. That's boring though. We need something a little bit crazy. These are small. Look how small these are. Wow, look at this. Sort of looks like an iPhone and a calculator in one. Uh, oh, it's got a small battery, 400 milliamp hour. Okay, let's see what else is here. <gasps> this is tiny. Look how small this one is. Okay, another Nokia knockoff kind of thing. Uh, oh, yes, this might have to be the one. This, this might have to be the one. So as uh, many people know, Jermaine or Concept Creator works on concepts for smartphones and things like that, but he does also design cars for racing games. This would be perfect for him, actually. Let's just have a quick look through. Yeah, I like this. I like the style of this. This looks pretty cool. Ooh, that's a nice color. Wait, is that a... <laughs> this actually has a 3.5 millimeter headphone socket. That is one of the most important things to Jermaine. I wonder what the audio quality is gonna be like, actually, from this. <laughs> has a 1.3 megapixel camera, apparently. Whoa, 128 meg of RAM. Okay, two gig of storage, uh, no 3G or 4G here. What can we really expect for $20? I mean, this is great. This is great. Uh, so Jermaine, this is the handset that's coming to you. Uh, you need to use it for a whole week. So uh, good luck. Okay, so we know which handset we've sent to Concept Creator, we've seen that, but what we don't know is what he's actually sent to me, and I believe I now have this here. Oh my. Okay, so this is supposed to be... <laughs> There's a flashlight. It has a camera as well, apparently. Uh, voice notes, MP3, MP4, handwriting. Oh wait, maybe you can write with the pen and it somehow turns it into text. That would be cool if it does that. These colors look cool. Uh, I like the box as well. This is this is like, I have no idea how much this is, but this obviously has to be fairly cheap to be part of this video because the whole deal was that the handset had to be under a certain price. It had to be fairly cheap. Six in one multifunction pen, okay. Let's have a quick look inside the box here. Um, we'll have a closer look at all of this in a moment, but there's a very tiny instruction manual. Do you know what? There's Oh wow, this is very cool. This is like replacement ink, that's very cool. There's four of those in there, I think. That's the battery, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, there's no uh, power adapter, but there is a micro USB charger. And let's just quickly have a look at, the, at that. Can I call this a handset? I don't know if I can. Wow, okay, I have never seen a handset that looks like this before. This is very, very cool. Well done, concept creator, or Jermaine, well done. This is, uh, 
This is <laughs> there's a camera on the back. This is cool, I like this. Okay, let's have a closer look at this handset slash pen. <laughs> So this is actually called the Servo K07. It's a multifunction pen slash phone and the box is pretty cool. Inside the box then is a very basic user manual, which we might look at later. Also in the box are some ink refills for the pen, a 300 milliamp hour battery, micro USB charging cable, and the device itself. Now the build quality of the device is actually surprisingly pretty good and around the back there is space for two sim cards and also a memory card and on the top of the device is a flashlight and also the micro usb charging socket so now that we've unboxed the phone let's see if it actually works um excuse me <laughs> just have to take this call hello Oh, Jermaine, how are you? Uh, how are you, man? <laughs> I, I, it's so quiet, I, I can hardly hear you. Let me just see if I can, hold on, where's the volume? Oh, it's at full volume. I wonder if it has loudspeaker. Let me see, options. Oh, hands-free. Hold on, what does that do? Let me see. Oh, Jermaine, hello. Hello, Roger. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm talking to you on a pen. What, what handset are you using, Jermaine? Are you using your, your nice car? Oh, really nice, nice. That's a nice handset. I'm quite jealous, by the way. Surprisingly... Oh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I must admit, uh, a pen phone wasn't something on my list either. But Well, Jermaine, it's been lovely talking to you, uh, but I do have lots of things I need to write down, so I'll have to speak to you later. Oh no, the challenge does start now. That means that I have to keep my SIM card in this pen for a week. <laughs> uh, good luck, by the way, good luck. I'll be it, you too. <laughs> oh, well this will be really interesting. Uh, I've never seen anything like this before. Oh well, at least we know that this can receive a call and that the loudspeaker works as well, which is quite interesting. I will be coming back with a video all about this pen phone. Let's call it the pen phone. Uh, I'll come back and tell you guys exactly what it was like to use this for five days. Let's see how it goes. I still owe you a pen. Uh, yeah, sure. I have one here that's quite cool uh, that you could borrow. I definitely want it back though. It's a special pen. 